Hello, I'm Daniel. I want to show you another way of actually making handles rather than pulling. This is my technique. Right, to do this technique you need a bit of chipboard, like so, <clears throat> about 35 centimetres by 20 with four screws in. With these you can actually adjust the height with these nuts, as you can see, if I do that. And that will just adju adjust the height of the handle which I'm making. Right, in, uh, in true Blue Peter style, I've already made some. You can see they're all different sizes and I'm going to show you how I'm going to attach them to different pots. I've adjusted it to the maximum height to get to this probably size. Let me show you. Right, I've rolled some clay out. I've got it roughly to the height I want, but to get it Exact. I then use this. It's a bit noisy. Voila. So that's the handle. Now what I do now is I just chop the ends off. The next stage is I'm going to roll this piece of clay onto this mud flat, which I picked up from a skip. Let me show you how. To get that design. So a bit of piece of wood which is quite shiny then all I do is push down and roll and there we go we've got that. Right the next stage what I'm going to do now is actually tap, tap it down at least twice and now it's beginning to form a handle, so I'm just bending it slightly, easing the ends out, ready for attachment to the pot. So there you can see that's the beginning of a handle which can be attached to a dish, anything you want. So that handle there could be transposed onto that pot. I'm going to show you another way of actually making another one using this mesh, which is from a builder's yard. Stainless steel, I think it's used for drainage. I've just cut the handle to a reasonable size. Same sort of thing again, I roll it to get that design. Squeeze the end, and that's ready for attaching to a pot. Use a quarry tile, floor quarry tile. That's the bit that normally goes on the floor. I've already cut the handle to the dimensions I need for the pot. Piece of wood again, and then just roll, and we've got that. And then what I do is slap it down, and there we go. We've got another handle which can be attached to a platter, a dish, whatever you fancy. Right, so with that decoration, the glaze will pick up on these grooves as they have on this lid, as you can see. Interesting enough, I've actually used a shell for that end marking to indent it there. But basically, that is the design. I've made a smaller coil, still using the mud flap. But now, I'm going to cut it like so, slam it down, and then you can then bend that to whatever shape you fancy. This is a pot that I've made previously with the same sort of handles, as you can see. It's not glazed, but it gives you an idea of the effect you can get. Same handle again, but I've made tiny cut tiny bits that's pretty small a tiny little handle I've attached to this faceted pot and I've made a hole through the middle there attach the same design to this square dish 
Another technique you could use is use some perspex. This is slightly beveled. That creates quite an interesting impression onto the clay. If I do this. Flatten that down, bend it around, squeeze the ends, and that's ready to be attached to a pot or a lid. Right, another technique you could use is to make a tobro handle. All I do is slam that down, and again. Going, that's ready to be attached to a pot. Now, in this case, I've attached it to a teapot. Another mat I found is I'm not sure if I think this from another skip, <laughs> but it's um, bobbly. Same thing again, I'm using a piece of wood, rolling it to get. Perfect. I've previously PVC. Okay. Hello, I'm Daniel. I previously made a pudding video handle. No, they are these. Mm -hmm. I've lost the plot now. It's those. Make up your own word what you think they might be called. They're not screws, are they? Or are these screws? Nuts. <laughs> They're nuts. Ready? No.